streaming online content is becoming big business. Television and movies are produced solely today solely for streaming online viewing. It's clear that internet broadcasting is becoming a viable alternative to standard broadcasting. This is also making it much easier for small companies to produce professional material. In fact, here in Ottawa, one show is working particularly hard to make a name for itself using the internet as a medium. Sweetheart's Takeaway is a web series about Sue and Janice, two 30-something caterers who run a failing catering operation with great food but bad business sense. When their delivery van gets repossessed, they end up making a deal with the repo man, Bob, to work off the debt by handling more delicate repossessions from other women. Diamond rings and sex toys are just some of those items. Joining us live now on the phone is Kate Drummond, who plays Sue. Kate, thank you for joining us on The Algonquin Show. How are you today? I'm great. Thanks for having me. It's, uh, it's great to talk to you guys. Well, thank you so much again. And Kate, you're a Canadian actress comfortable performing in any medium. Is filming for the internet different than filming for a regular television show or film? Um, it's, well, it, from, there's two different perspectives. So from the actor's point of view, uh, there's not much difference at all. You still have, um, you know, your character and your script, your relationships and your cameramen not to run into and your lights not to trip over. But, um, from a producer's perspective, uh, there's a lot of differences. Right. Um, first of all, the episodes are much, much smaller. So usually, you know, five to eight minutes or so. And that's great because they're accessible to anyone who has the internet. But on the other side, it's hard to kind of get into your backstory and, you know, the, all the all the little hidden gems that, you know, you'd be able to delve into if you had sort of a 30-minute segment. Um, I was talking to uh, Bonnie Robinson, who's our creator, director, producer, sort of all powerful and knowing about Sweetheart. <laughs> and uh, she said that what what first came to mind was that it's actually harder to make money on the web as well. Um, you know, it's it's harder to reach your audience. Anyone who has watched Sweetheart loves it, but it's hard to you know, it's hard. It's a matter of how to reach those who haven't seen it yet. So exactly. the TV. You know, you get automatic advertising and promotion, but on the web, it's it's a little harder. We're kind of a hidden entity until we're not, you know? Right. And now, this past August, the show was consolidated into one 45-minute episode and aired on CBC Television as part of a special series. What does this mean for the future of your show? Oh, we were so excited. It was uh, <laughs> such a great success for Sweet Tarts. Um, we were uh, one of the best-received shows of the CBC summer series from across the country. That's according awesome. To the, yeah, according to the CBC executive producer. Um, and she loves our, sh our show and has been just pulling for us, so she'd like to see it on national television. Um, so would we. <laughs> um, we're in the process of pitching 13 episodes to CBC National Network as a half-hour comedy, so we're keeping our fingers crossed. Okay, but, right on. Uh, there's, um, you know, there's so many amazing ideas out there. I mean, Canadians are, Canadian actors and creators and writers are just such a creative bunch of people. So um, we're just hoping that uh, Sweet Hearts is recognized for, you know, its ability to reach such a broad demographic and the fact that it's a comedy anchored by two women, you know, which isn't very common. And, right. You know, I think women are funny. So <laughs> They are very funny. I got to agree know. with that. <laughs> Now, do you see the internet more as a stepping stone for smaller shows on the way to TV or as an entire artistic medium in, unto itself? Um, it's, uh, you know, the internet is so accessible, right? Like, you can you can fire up a video on YouTube without much effort at all. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's, a, it's like it, it's an immediate place to broadcast. But if you have a serious a serious show, a seri not necessarily the topic, but a serious product, um, one that you're invested in, you know, you've got your production crew, you've got, you know, backing and scripts and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, we'd like to see ours aired both TV and the web. Um, Sweet Tarts is a great package. It's, uh, you know, we have, we have recipes from each episode that are posted on our interactive website. And um, we want to use both mediums to, to reach our audience. So eventually, you know, our, our website will have character blogs and, right. you know, back and forth and tweets and things like that. <laughs> yeah. Tweets and twits. Um, <laughs> and, uh, you know, and right now on the web, you can watch all the episodes and comment on them. And then, our you know, we have the ability to comment back and stuff like that. Um, 
but what what we like is that uh, you know we want it to be on air, but we really are pushing for an interactive online community. Awesome. So, no. Yeah. It's Still, it's still pretty, you know, it's still pretty new, but uh, we've had, you know, we had something like 10,000 page views in the first 48 hours. Wow, like that's, that. that's but, crazy. <laughs> I know. It's, now, it's, tell Kate, me about it. Like, it's, it's the little project that could, and it's gone, it's going national, which is so awesome. <laughs> now, we have a clip of the show here, if you'd like to set us up for it, Kate. Oh, okay. Um, so this is... Uh, Bob is our is our repo nightmare. Well, in my mind. Um, anyways, um, Janice has a different perspective on on Bob's use, but uh, we have just um, repossessed a shipment of um, unmentionables, and um, from a particular um, not family friendly store. <laughs> and um, so I'm not comfortable having this this these boxes of unmentionables in my possession and we've been trying to get them back to Bob who keeps disappearing and we can't get a hold of him so there's a little bit of frustration in the voice and you know we don't we don't really know where he's been and we're still learning a lot about Bob and uh, this is one of the first chances that we get to see how diverse his skills really are okay here we go okay. so you uh, ladies have anything for me yeah it's in the trunk <laughs> excellent where were you and why are you wearing a flak jacket? Oh, plane repo. You're a pilot. Of course. How else would I repo planes? <laughs> well, you can't be too careful, especially after 9-11. You never know when some farmer with a shotgun thinks you're going to wreak havoc with a Cessna. So, you gals interested in another job? About that. Oh, we... why well, almost forgot. Kate, I want to thank you so much for speaking with with us today, and we wish you and the rest of the Sweet Tarts team all the best for the future. Now, before thank we let you go, I understand that with every episode comes a tasty recipe. Would you care to share your favorite with us? Oh, um, well, yeah, well, hmm. <laughs> you know, we have uh, we have a lot of great recipes. All the, you know, we have one all the way from Korea, which is really awesome. Wow. Um, from a restaurant in Korea. Um, but uh, my favorite episode actually hasn't, or my favorite uh, recipe hasn't been aired yet on the episode. But you know, I encourage the listeners to watch for um, Sue's famous German pancakes, which will be uh, will be coming up, and that by far is my my favorite recipe. S sounds <laughs> delicious. <laughs> well, Kate, thank you so much for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Take care. Have uh, a good day. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. thanks very much.